hello everyone in this video we will discuss how to open .txt the text file in MATLAB so let us see first look at our txt file .txt file so this is our text file that we want to open in MATLAB it contains 4 into 1000 4000 elements in two dimension multi-dimensional form so we want to open this in our method so <coughs> how to do that so first we have to open this as a file in method so for this uh, this is this command we can this fid is the name of the file that will be used in method so f open and open the file and the name of the file that you want to open so in this name is sample s a m p l e dot t x t so what it will do it will open this file this sample file is open is now in MATLAB with the name fid but we can't access it so it will show us this value this is the number of FID that we have opened so now we want to see what is inside this FID so for this we have to use the command fscan so we can consider a variable that equals to fscan what it does it opens the file and for this the <coughs> Uh, app scanner we have to give the name of the file in MATLAB that is FID because FID is the is now our file in MATLAB and its format so we will get FID comma and because these are in decimal value so format used will be float <coughs> now data this variable is having all these variables that are in simple all these elements that are in simple and they are opened as 1, 2, 3, 4 so they are in single column single column and they have taken first element a11 then 12 then 13 then 14 then 21 then 22 then 23 then 24 so now we have got all our elements in that line so if we want in multi dimensional form the, there are two ways so first is to uh, import this as a single dimension and then use for loop nested for loop to arrange these the variables in data one as multi dimensional so, okay. nested for loop so we can give another name to this variable data to try comma j <coughs> so because now this element is 1 1 and this is stored as 1th element in data first element in de data and this is 1 2 and this is stored as second element this is 1 3 and this is stored as power and then 1 4 and this is stored as 4th element <coughs> This is our fifth element in data, and this is two comma one. See, it is two comma one, and we have it is it is in fifth element in this value in this variable data. So we have to copy fifth element to data, uh, fifth element to, from data to two comma one. So for this, we can use this syntax i minus one because we have 4 rows multiplied by 4 plus j now see the first element when j is 1 and i is 1 first element of data will copy to 1 comma 1 and when i is 2 and j is 2 assume. so 1 into 4 means 6th element 
sixth element will copy to two comma two. That is what we want. So this is one. Uh, we can open directly. This has a multi-dimensional file. So starting same that is we have to open our file. And now in the scanner syntax, we have to give uh, the series syntax of that scanner. So it is the yeah, file ID means name of file format and size we can actually give the size here so name is file ID format name so and in size we have to give the number of uh, rows that we want to have so we have rows and in the INF this INF means empire that is it will divide in four rows and get all the element, all the columns that are in sample file. So we will see what happens. Okay. 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 So it creates four into thousand. Uh, rows are opened as column and column as rows. So zero zero one zero zero point five zero point nine like this. So this transpose actually so now we have to take the transpose on this variable to get our original so now our variable will have is our original data that is in our sample file dot x at age 16, 0 0.105, 0 0.865, like this. Like this, we can open our .dx. Thank you.